Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial we're going to cover the DOM uh, panel and that stands for Document Object Model and it's down here in the bottom, sort of the right here. You can double click on it to collapse it, double click on it to open it and it's under the window menu if you don't see it there. There it is under DOM, it's checked so it's open. And what this represents is the HTML structure. So if I collapse this all the way you'll see it's the HTML structure and open up by clicking the little arrow icon you can see here HTML it has a body if I collapse this it's separating into the head and body tags which if we go to code view this is a little easier to see here so let me collapse this collapse this so you got the head tag which is right here and then you have the body tag which is all that so when I select it you'll see that it's it's sort of highlighted and if I click on these little arrows I can basically navigate through these different areas very quickly so the title the meta is very easy to access if I want to edit it I can I can double click any of these tags so if I want to change it from a body to something else or a section to an aside for example I could do that just by double clicking on it and typing in something there um, if you need to change the positioning so say for some reason uh, the footer or section here need to be changed you can basically left click on this and drag downwards and you'll see sort of a green line that appears here. Now if I drop it here it's actually going to be nested inside the footer between the paragraph but if I drop it all the way down here you'll see that it goes all the way down. Now I'm going to undo that just by hitting control Z but you'll see here the code now is the footer is right up here and the sections inside there but we have the paragraph tag separated out here. So again, I'm going to undo that so I get my uh, footer back with my section here. But if you do need to reorganize your HTML, that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is you can actually add to your HTML. So what do I mean by this? We'll say right now in the body tag here, if I select the body, um, I have a section and a footer. What if I want something else in there? So with this body selected, I can click on the little plus icon here. And uh, if I want to add an aside, for example, I can go down to insert child and that will make it at the same level of the section in the footer. So by doing that, I'll call it an aside here and then just hit enter. Now, if I want to tab over, I could add a class or an ID, but I'm not going to do that right now. So all I'm going to do is hit return or enter and it will say here content for the new aside tag goes here. So then I can edit this tag uh, just by highlighting it and type in something. So maybe I want um, the art of James Kleckner. Some major statement, right? And then you know maybe make that an H2 tag or an H1 tag or something. Um, I can have that in the aside here. What if I want to have, uh, let's see, a header in here? Well, I could select the body tag in through the DOM panel here. And again, hit the plus uh, icon because the the header is uh, mainly where something would be like a logo um, your nav would be in there so it's a little different than head it's sort of the top of the page and again it's the visible stuff remember the the head is the non-visible stuff right so metadata title and so forth so we're inside the content here so uh, what I'm gonna do is click on the plus symbol and I'm gonna hit uh, insert after this time and I'm going to call this um, header and as soon as I get to the ER hit return and voila now I have the header and you'll notice that that has come down here at the bottom where the body is so I don't want to be there but I want you to see where it would end right after it would basically end at the bottom here uh, more appropriate would be the footer right so if I didn't have the footer I would have it right after it what I can do is I can basically cut this header here and then put it in here in the code view wherever I want. So I want it to be in the body here um, right before the aside. So I'm just going to paste it in there. And you'll notice as I click out and then click in here, the DOM has been updated. So in the body here, here's the header, here's the aside, here's the section, here's the footer. And um, I could have done it the another way. So let me undo that for a second. So it's back here. I could have done it directly in the DOM here, right? So I could select this header here and drag it right up here. And and so certain things are definitely easier. Here, 
I mean, look how much faster that was instead of selecting it and hitting Control X and then uh, Control V to paste. Um, I mean, basically, I reorganize it in just a, a quick uh, eyelash of a second, basically. So there's the body tag, here's the header tag, and here's the aside. And in this header, maybe I add um, content like a logo or, um, yeah, logo and then a nav. So I'm just going to add for right now logo here. And uh, basically, that's it for that area right now. So um, the other one, let's see what other option is here. The other one would be insert before. So let's see if we had uh, another section or something uh, under section here, I could click on this and do the insert before. If I want to wrap the tag in something, that's another thing you could do. So um, for example, let's see. So let me change it instead. Uh, let's change this header to say an H1 tag and then uh, let's wrap that with a header for example right so I have logo here and then I click on this wrap tag and what I'm gonna wrap it around with is a header so I just type out header and then hit enter a couple of times and now you can see the h1 tag has been wrapped around the header in order to see this again it would be on the split view so you can see here's the logo right which has um, the art of James Kleckner which is an aside and the other thing you can do is you can hit the up arrow or down arrow to basically navigate through this DOM panel. And you'll notice a direct reference here, down here, right above the output and search, uh, what will be uh, selected. And you can see how things are parented to each other. So uh, the body tag has all these elements here. And so it just basically is the one element. But if I hit the down arrow, you'll see there's the header. If I hit the down arrow again, there's an H1 encased in the header. If I hit the down arrow again, the aside is not a child of the header, but is a child of the body. Same with the section. The section is not a, uh, you don't see it here, it's, it's a child of the body. And then if I hit the down arrow, the H2 is a, is a child of the section. So you kind of get the way it works. You basically work from right to left here. Um, and, and through the DOM, you can basically open or collapse these uh, arrows here. And then, of course, you, you'll notice even the strong tag is represented here. So it does include every element of HTML. So it's very important to remember that uh, as you go through here. And what it allows you to do, it just allows you to sort of navigate a little quicker here uh, through your HTML tags uh, a little quicker sometimes then going directly into the tag view, especially if your HTML is quite long. I kind of call it in the 3D an, um, application like Maya as the outliner in a way. It's sort of like where all your objects and everything, your scene files, everything's pretty much located. The difference is this is all HTML, so it's just the HTML tag. All right, so that's a basic overview of the DOM in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Until next time, cheers.